Tēnā tato kato. Good evening. Police Minister Stuart Nash has resigned from his post after bragging about calling the police commissioner and urging him to appeal a court judgment. The Prime Minister called Nash's actions unwise and says if he hadn't resigned, he would have been sacked. But he stopped short of removing Nash from Cabinet completely. And the opposition is calling that decision unwise. Here's political editor Jen Lynch. Suiting up a NASA astronaut, the highlight of Police Minister Stuart Nash's day, from there rather than blast off, it was all downhill. As soon as he stepped out of his NASA internship announcement, hit with questions about whether he'd interfered in a police case. Hell no. Will you resign? That was a fantastic announcement. Why would I resign over The problem is, prior to that fantastic announcement, he went on the radio and bragged about calling up his mate, the police commissioner, to urge him to appeal a court sentence. And I've seen a couple of judgments. And actually, one, I phoned up the police commissioner and said, surely you're going to appeal this. I wasn't the minister of police at the Did time. You? Ministers cannot interfere with the police. They operate with complete independence from the Crown, spelled out in black and white in both the law and the Cabinet Manual, which says ministers do not comment on or involve themselves in the investigation of offences or the decision as to whether a person should be prosecuted or on what charge. They should not comment on the results of particular cases or on any sentence handed down by a court. You've breached the cabinet manual, will you? I'm, I'm, I'm not the... Um, I wasn't the Minister of Police. I was chewing the fat with a, with a guy who was a mate uh, about a decision that I thought was very bad in a circumstance that I had been involved in when I was a Minister yes. of Police buying back firearms, well, and I'm going to leave it at when that. Nash was the police minister who banned semi-automatic guns after the March 15 mosque attacks. He lost the portfolio in 2020, becoming the tourism minister, but recently regained it. You're still a minister. Ministers cannot interfere in police matters. And I didn't interfere in police matters. I asked the commissioner a question. You, you said surely you're going to appeal this. No, I didn't. I asked that him a question. Is, is... The prime minister did not see it that way, and Nash was gone by lunchtime. I think it de demonstrated a serious error of judgment, uh, and that is why I've accepted his resignation from How the police In the PM's eyes, Nash had only one fate. Goodbye. Did you ask for the minister's resignation? Uh, had he not offered it, I would have. Uh, and had he not offered his resignation, um, then I would have removed him from the role. News Hub understands Nash was referring to the case of a Southland man who was found with a banned AR-15 under his mattress. The man had lost his gun licence in 2017 but failed to hand back his firearms as required. He then failed to surrender them as part of the gun buyback scheme. In 2021, police found an AR-15, a 12-gauge shotgun, along with magazines and thousands of rounds of ammunition at his house. He received a sentence of community detention. It's you also right. said, I think it was a terrible decision by the judge. Judges need to read the room on this. You are directly trying to influence the judiciary. I think it was a terrible decision and I stand by that comment. What did he say in explanation for his actions? Um, he hasn't offered one and I haven't asked for one. Um, I believe that it was, it was a serious error of judgement. The Prime Minister says he understands there was no appeal from police in the end. Minister Nash's representations had no bearing on the Commissioner's decisions or the police's decisions in this case. Nash will stay on as Minister for Economic Development, Forestry and Fisheries. The opposition wants him sacked completely. He has misused his power as a minister and is no longer fit to hold that office. He interfered, he boasted about it, he won't apologise, that's three strikes, he should be out. If he had been police minister before, shouldn't he have known better? Um, look, I think he's demonstrated an error of judgement here, a serious error of judgement, and he certainly uh, paid a consequence for that in the fact that he's no longer the minister of police. No longer fit to be the minister of police. Well, Jenna joins us now. Kia ora, Jenna. Is Stuart Nash likely to hold on to the rest of his jobs? Stuart Nash loves the police portfolio and from what I understand the Prime Minister thinks it's punishment enough losing that. Had there been a pattern of repeat behaviour then likely the sanction would have been tougher. I have just received a statement through from Police Commissioner Andrew Costa who says he does recall that phone call, that he thought of it as a bit of a vent of frustration. He thought of that call to appeal as a rhetorical question rather than a request and didn't take any action. Hipkins now has the tough task of 
of choosing a police minister. He's instilled uh, Megan Woods as the acting police minister in the meantime, but is likely to make a permanent decision by Monday. Few names to consider there. Emergency Management Minister Kieran McAnulty has been performing excellently, though when we asked him about it, he said he's got a bit on and is quite happy with what he's doing. A seasoned uh, pro like Andrew Little could quite comfortably slip into those shoes. Another name that's likely to be thrown around is Kitty Tabu Allen, though it's unlikely to go to her because of the interaction with the justice portfolio. Crime has been a real thorn in this government's side. Hipkins needs a safe, steady pair of hands, unlike Nash, who was beaten by his own bravado. Political editor Jenna Lynch, Tinakwe.